Hello everyone, this video is about color management on the Samba theme. I decided to make a special video for this because the theme handles uh, in a special manner with, uh, with these colors. So the first thing I wanted to clarify or to tell you is that um, you can have custom colors on posts, portfolio items, team members and also on all the buttons that um, are on the menu, you can assign a color to them and then change the content color, the content active color here on the right side. So, for instance, let's grab on the Samba services page and let's say I want to uh, apply a special color to this page. So, I just come here to appearance, menus, and I click here on services page, and you see that you have here this extra option that's color this is a custom option for from this theme so I'm just going to grab here uh, not this one not the blue one because the others are already blue so I just grab this green color I paste it here and I save and uh, so now this page was blue and also here the menu now let's refresh this and um, okay so the menu turned green as, and as you can see the content is uh, green too so this is the first um, the first element or the first entity that you can add a custom color it's the pages that are linked directly here from the menu so now let's see how to change the color to a single post let's grab on this blog with image post and uh, um, let's change the um, the color that's used here on this post. So let's come here and it's the blog with image and um, besides the content you have just right here at the feature color option so I'm going to grab here another color and uh, you have here a color picker okay but I, I'm just going to paste here this color and update and this, um, this blog post should be now um, with this nice orange color. As you can see, the parent page is the Samba blog. It doesn't have any color assigned, but even if it did, it will still apply this um, single post color. So, because I'm saying that I want this post, this specific post, to have this color. So, this is uh, the second entity that you can add a custom color. Now let's see how to do this to a portfolio item. It's similar to the blog. You have here this featured color option. And I'm going to grab here something. I'm going to paste it. And before I save, let's see how this post looks at this moment. So this post is with the theme default color. It's in blue. So I have here my, my new color. I'm going to update and I refresh and uh, it should not have now the new color here it is so if you understand how these things work um, it's very easy to manage all of them so just let's see now how to do this to a team member once again um, it's looking like this with the default color and uh, I'm going to grab here this red update and now refresh the page and uh, it's red now so this is uh, this should cover the color management on the theme so just to, re to, to remind you how everything works the theme um, will use these default colors this active color will be used um, on all pages if, if you don't say it to do differently. If you want to apply special colors to, to pages that are linked directly from the menu, you change them here under Appearance Menus. And as for all the single portfolio items, team members and uh, blog posts, it's, uh, you just have to, when you are editing them, you have to change that featured color um, option. So finally, let's say that you, you you don't want these colors again but you don't want to have all the work um, 
and uh, changing them again. You just come here and you say, I don't want to use special colors on posts and pages. And when you save this option, you'll see that the theme have, has these custom colors and now they will be gone. It's using again that blue color and uh, the menu, those left two bars with colors here, they are gone. So if you don't need all these colors, you can just simply come here and turn this option off. If I turn it on again, they will be back here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was clear.